Hi, Karen. As I go along here, I just was looking at Happy Advent for sure. I was looking at our little prayer list and looking at our families expecting children, just thinking about the, uh, we had three babies born from St. Mark's uh, parishioners last week. So it was a pretty eventful week for babies and two of which, um, well, one of which was in the NICU and it's since been out. And another one, uh, who's a close friend of mine as well, the Wetzel's baby is still just getting out of the NICU, but doing well. But gosh, what a birthday week for that, that group. I love all the people that I know when I have my birthday and we go up for our prayers. It's always neat to say, oh yeah, happy birthday. And so we all remember each other's birthdays. But that's only because of this, you know, place that we all come together, uh, which is neat because that's uh, the devotional talking about the body of Christ um, that I'll be sharing today. But gosh, our, our little list of expecting parents has gotten smaller in one week. <laughs> Also, we had um, the Durtons, a wonderful family. His, uh, they, his uh, nephew and niece, I believe they adopted six children uh, last Saturday. So they adopted three children that were boys, three that were girls. And so uh, their daughter and son went from having no cousins to having six cousins in one day. <laughs> I hate care. That's right. I do want to lift them all up in prayer. And also think about all the changes that are happening in those households. Because they're all, well, no, I guess the Pickocks, this is their second child. So they're familiar with the situation. But I, I remember back well what it was like to have that newborn in the house and all the changes that come with it. So I definitely do want to lift them all up in prayer today. And everybody during the season of Advent. It's interesting how having a new child, how much of time that takes away. But I also think about um, all of us being able to have those gather Christmas gatherings that we haven't been able to have in so long uh, because of the pandemic. And now everybody's having those office Christmas parties and those gatherings that they used to have. And I know my schedule has gotten a little fuller uh, all good, though. Like tonight, I get to go and see my son, Andrew. Uh, last year was their first time to play a band concert in person, their Christmas band concert. And so they'll they'll get to do it again this year. But even then, <coughs> I can remember last year, all of us, you know, masked up and, and it still was, we were there, but we weren't really still together as a community. It's going to be uh, fun to have that um uh, whole gathering of, of the band presenting uh, these Christmas songs. Should be a lot of fun. Well, I guess we're here. I just went too quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and light our Advent wreath here. And apologize to anyone who uh, tried to sign on last night. We just got a little going and, and um, our leader forgot well, was very busy with her child, Ashley. So, but Father Barkley will be, Barkley will be doing it next week on Mondays. But we are in the third week of Advent. And the joy candle, the merry candle, rose Sunday. And so I'll, I'll read our uh, prayer before we begin for the third week of Advent. Let us pray. Gracious God, you came to us in human flesh and you abide with us in the Holy Spirit. Fill us with your joy, 
and help us shine as a light to the world through Jesus Christ, who makes our joy complete. Amen. And we'll begin our Order of Noonday service on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Thank you for being here with me. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Saying Psalm 119, Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I've applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now I'll be reading from our devotional booklet for the third weekend of Advent. And this is our Tuesday reading, and it's about love incarnate. And the... Scripture reading that is used is Hebrews 13, 8. It says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And now in his words of wisdom are, the one who stayed with us in the past and will return to us in the future becomes present to us in that precious moment in which memory and hope touch each other. And the devotion is this. What an extraordinary thing to be a member of the body of Christ, the church. We are more than members of a community of believers, certainly so much more than followers of a mere human institution. As Christians, we participate in a family of love that extends all the way back to the beginning of time and progresses forward to the end of all things. Those who walked in faith before us are not just our ancestors, but they remain living stones provided us with a sure foundation on which to build God's kingdom. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. We are called to prepare the way for those who come after us, fortifying one story of love through the whole human history. The thread that makes this continuity possible is the love of Christ made flesh in the incarnation of at Christmas. You know, I was thinking about that body of Christ and, you know, we have been um, thinking about uh, stewardship, you know, and we're talking about stewardship, but I loved what uh, Rob Hodge said uh, when he was giving his talk and, and it just really spoke about things that I feel as well is that he said, I'm giving not for me or for the church right now. I mean, that's part of it, but really it's, I'm, I'm giving because we have gotten so much that I wanna make sure future generations can uh, have the same feeling that we have as a community here, is that we're a body of Christ. You know, I think of our 100 year old parishioners and our parishioners in the 90s that have so much wisdom that they are just shining down upon to the lowest person that I just was mentioning, our three babies that were born last week. And, and just thinking about how all of us, from the oldest to the very youngest, are a part of that body of Christ. Those who have come before and those who will come after are a part of that same body of Christ. You know, when I, I was thinking about an image in my head of writing, you know, when I'm writing down a note, well, I mean, I have to have a pencil, but I have to have my fingers to be able to do it and the muscles in my fingers and the bones in my fingers and in my forearm. And I've got to have my biceps because, you know, it's, and you go all the way through your back, you've got to have your mind to think. It's like this whole, whole body does even a part of those little things. And I love that image that, you know, we are a whole body of Christ, each one of us doing our big or little things, but we're all coming together to show love incarnate in the world. We're all coming together and we're all a part of that no matter what path, 
part of the path we're on in our spiritual journey. And uh, I do like the idea that this will continue forever and ever, bringing God's kingdom of love into the world. And we bring God's kingdom into our own present lives through our prayers, and please put them in, and I love praying for joy uh, and any other concerns that we have. And we will lift them up when we lift up our prayer list. And we'll continue on page 106 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city with the Father and the Holy Spirit. You live and reign now and forever. Amen. We're, we lift up to you now those commended to our prayer list. We pray for the Episcopal Church, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Michael, the Presiding Bishop, and Larry, our Bishop. We pray for Barclay, Joanna, Michael, and Patricia, our clergy. And we pray for our staff and vestry, especially our vestry who meets tonight. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church in Kenya. In the Diocesan Cycle of Prayer, we pray for St. Bartholomew's in Fort Smith, St. John's in Fort Smith. We pray for non-parochial clergy and spouses. We pray for retired clergy and spouses, and we pray for clergy widows. We pray for peace and an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all of our staff, but especially today, we pray, pray for Jan Malden. We pray for our food pantry, our day school, and our other parish ministries, especially St. Mark's family ministry team. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, Garrett, Kyle, Chandler, and Alex. We pray for families expecting children, especially Ashley and Alan Brooks and Mary Catherine Way and Natasha Vincent. And we give thanks for the births to the Wetzels, the Pitcocks, and the Drakes. We pray for all parishioners who are in need, sick, or homebound, and for those commended to our prayers. For Judy, Carl, Mary, Chet, Sue, Clara, Tom, Neil, Mary, Kay, Margaret, Yvonne, Vicki, and Billy. We pray for those celebrating birthdays and wedding anniversaries. May they have wonderful celebrations, and we pray for those who have died. <clears throat> we do pray for uh, joy and we pray for music and give thanks for Andrew's van. And we do pray for all of those who have welcomed children. May their families become whole and may their babies find rest. We give thanks for the season of Advent where we can Prepare ourselves for the day that we celebrate your love incarnate, born in the form of Jesus into the world. We also lift up to you all those things in our hearts that we have not or cannot name at this time. Be with us and guide us and always keep us on the path to your love, hope, peace, and joy in the world. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with me. I always appreciate it. I hope you have a great afternoon. God's peace.